guys hope you're having a fantastic day again today okay today our rain is coming down and that snow is melting Woohoo! so yesterday we went out and shoveled the rest of the driveway well i didn't shovel lauren and evan shoveled the rest of the driveway my husband had gotten down with the van and just parked at the bottom and then lauren and evan shoveled the rest of it and now it's raining so all of that wonderful snow should melt today this is what it looks like when it rains after all the snow all that fog it looks so blue out here but it's melting so that's a great thing we got all these little sleds everywhere <laughs> so it's almost gone back to back to some warm weather i'm looking forward to that so since we've been stuck inside i've been trying to do as much as i can by gathering up my fragments and using what we have instead of running sending my husband to the store after work and so we did really good about using up what we had at home for food we've been very creative with the meals we've made um but it's work nobody's starved and so i went through and just cleaned out the refrigerators cleaned out the freezer so i pulled out all of my freezers and we'll be down to nothing which will be great so i think i had one bag of those chocolate chip oatmeal cups um, some bran muffins and some breakfast burritos. I pulled those out this week and those are pretty much gone And then I also found a bunch of lingering grilled cheese sandwiches. So I thought I'd pull those out for lunch today and then um I'm not sure what we're gonna do for dinner tonight something creative i'm sure <laughs> but i had apples i want to go get some more apples before the winter season um shuts down the place i called yesterday and he said oh yeah i guess still got some apples and so i'm gonna pick some up this month for the for just to have on stocks so we can eat them for the month because they're so cheap to to get they're like 20 dollars a bushel and they'll last us for a long time to munch on and so but i did have some that were needing to be made into sauce and so i just cut left those on the counter last night and this morning i cut those up put them in a pan and cook those and i'm mixing up up two big pots of applesauce and I'll freeze those so gathering up the fragments for those and then I'm thinking um, my daughter really likes chocolate chip pumpkin muffins Ashlyn and she and Paul are flying in this next week so since I'm home and nothing else to do besides be at home I thought I'd mix a batch of those and freeze those so we have those when they're here and I might mix up some cookies too I'm gonna see how we're gonna see how the day rolls on but as of now I'm gonna be doing trying to gather up what I have and make what I have just to be productive until I can get out into the to the wonderful world around us it's probably this weekend so you can watch me
Okay, I've got my pumpkin muffins in the oven. You saw that cute pan, I forgot that I found that. I don't even know, I think I found it at Goodwill. It was like not even used, and so I don't know if it's a cookie pan or what it is, but I put my muffins and kind of push it down, so I thought it'd be cute for the holidays to have some meat. We'll see what it looks like, I'll show you if it's neat or not. I'll let you know in about 10 minutes. So in the meantime, I decided I was sitting here with Mark, I'm like, okay, what else can we do? I'm like, you know what, let's just start on our other food. So we're going to. <laughs> so I decided to mix up our peanut butter balls, like the Buckeye balls or um, whatever else everybody else calls it, but we've been making this for ever. I remember being a kid and going to, <laughs> what's that? Trouble knows I'm different. I remember being a kid and going to a vacation Bible school. One of my friends down the street, I went to her church one time and um, I was a little kid and I remember eating these. I thought they were the best things in the world. And I was like a little kid, so I didn't remember how to tell my mom what they tasted like. But I just remember mixing peanut butter and chocolate chips trying to get that flavor because it was so good. But never realized what it was until I got older. So we make these super simple recipe on my blog. Um, we do normally, it's three tablespoons of butter half a cup of peanut butter and you mix that and then you add one cup of powdered sugar. Now I am quadrupling this recipe because I feel like that'll be enough for all of us and then we're gonna dip it in chocolate. So I've actually found my mom sent us some candy molds last year so I'm thinking we're gonna make, I don't like doing that fine detail stuff that the girls do so they just might do that today. Where you put a little bit of chocolate on the bottom and some peanut butter and the chocolate on top. That might be something for them to do since we're gonna be home because of the rain. So I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so I mixed up a batch of chocolate chip cookies. Just follow the package instructions on the back of all these mini chocolate chips. Same thing, so my husband loves those, so I'll put those. These will all be frozen for Christmas. And the little muffin things turned out cute. I mean, they're okay. It's kind of made for a cookie, I don't know, I'm assuming. That would just be a hard cookie to put in there, but I guess maybe if you had the patience to push it down, but they're cute, I mean, that you can see that it's a star. And the other side will be like a muffin, it'll work. I did another batch, it's the only time I'll use that pan. So we are just deciding, sitting here talking to Brooklyn, going, what should we do with the peanut butter balls? Because usually we make the balls and we dip them in chocolate. I don't like doing that because then it's like you don't always get it in there or it falls off your little skewer or whatever. So I thought, hmm, so we're trying to, we're gonna experiment this year. We are gonna do some round ones and then we're also gonna do the little candy mold grandma got us. And then she was saying we've got some silicone cupcake liners from grandma. So we are gonna make mini ones, she said, just make them real thin try these in here and then I'm also gonna try them in my mini muffin cup so we're gonna do a variety to see which one works the best which is the easiest for me I'd say pour the chocolate in the bottom of a baking pan put the peanut butter all on top chocolate again on top and then just freeze it and then cut it that way that'd be way easy but we have lots of time today so today you're gonna see them relaxed Amy taking time doing all these small little detailed things that I just don't particularly enjoy doing but I will so we're gonna try on doing some variety of that
So Brooklyn put them in here. I don't know if I recorded that or not. We might have shut up. But she puts them in here. And then we also did the silicone things as well. And I also got some balls frozen. So we're going to try all different kinds. So she's going to take a little dab, a little ball of the peanut butter mixture in here. Put it inside this. And then we will um, we freeze it. And then put the, No, I think then just put the chocolate on top. And then we'll put it back in the freezer. We'll kind of smush it down with our finger. And then put the chocolate on top. We'll have little homemade peanut butter cups. I put my biscotti on a cookie sheet down here. I'll lift my sheet up. And then I'm going to have her drizzle the corners of that, and that will be done there. Okay, so Brooklyn has been making them and they are so cute. You saw these, right? Look at the big ones. These are so cute. And the mini ones are little. Those are good. So I'm thinking, what do you think, Brooklyn? Mini ones, big ones, or the balls? I like the big ones. Big ones are more like a Reese's peanut butter cup. So mini ones are good because you just eat one and you're like, okay, I feel like I had chocolate. With the big one, you just get more. So I just uh, melted a bowl of chocolate. I'm gonna dip the balls that I made just because we can have a tray of them and that'll be good. And she's gonna keep making the small ones because she loves doing the small little tiny tedious work, right, Brooklyn? <laughs> and then we're gonna keep working. We got more silicone cups. I think I've got 24 of them. So she's gonna make a whole bunch of those peanut butter cups. Super simple.
we're getting all of our chocolate mixed up. A good way, I wanted to say, like I really enjoy the Ghirardelli chocolate. I know Sam's Club sells this, but it's so expensive. Last year I was able to get, these are the small bags. Last year I was able to get the big giant ones they have at Sam's Club at a, the discount store I go to for $2 in the summertime. They weren't even expired. They were so good, I love that because they were all the milk chocolate Ghirardelli. Our Sam's Club only has the dark chocolate. It was so delicious. So I like did chocolate dipped everything last year because it was just a really yummy tasting treat. <laughs> love the Ghirardelli, but just way too expensive to make treats. So what I do is I get the, Almond bar, the cheaper one at Aldi's, or this might be Aldi's, this is Aldi's or Walmart, either one. And then I buy one bag of the Good Beer Deli and I just pour, like I've done, we've done two blocks of chocolate. So I've poured about a third of this bag into each block. Then when you mix it up, you get a little bit nicer chocolate flavor instead of the cheaper stuff. So we had a candy store back in Michigan we used to go to, but, and that was great because they had the inexpensive of chocolate, but it was really, really good chocolate. So you do what you can do. So I just mix it, then it's kind of like the same kind of flavoring kind. So we're gonna see how much we have because we're, I'm like, we can just make everything today. But then I'm like, wait a minute, we, we want to make, save some things for memories and fun for when the family comes. And so I'm thinking, but I know that everybody's gonna be coming for Christmas and I just know why we're busy. So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking that I'll save like pretzels for that because pretzels will be super simple. Everybody will have fun with that. We can do sprinkles and have a mess with that. And then I'll save one package of Oreos to do because usually you have leftover chocolate and we need to dip some Oreos. So we're gonna <laughs> Maxine, we're gonna do oh, Maddie, we're gonna do one package of Oreos. <laughs> we have chocolate left over, so Maxine's bark. So we're gonna get some more made because we still have a, more peanut butter stuff. <laughs> We finished all of our treats that we were not even planning on making today, but due to the weather, now they're done. So I'm like, okay, all we have to do is, when everybody comes, we don't have to do it, but it'll be fun to do, is decorate cookies with frosting, sprinkles, and all that fun stuff, and then we'll do chocolate dipped pretzels and chocolate dipped Oreos. That'll be super simple. And I'll make some Rice Krispies next week when it gets closer because those will go bad. And also puppy chow, because that was on the list for request for things to make. So today for dinner, because I'm gathering up my fragrance because I haven't been out at all, so I found I had a bag of meatballs, homemade meatballs downstairs. So that is in my oven, and then I found um, two containers of my homemade creamy mushroom soup. So I'm thinking to make like a creamy sauce with two of those, sour cream, a little bit of milk, and stir it up maybe a little bit of, or actually I will not even need beef boiling because that's in there. Stir up, that'll be my sauce with the meatballs, and I cook. So then I just did um, potatoes. I cut up, I had half a bag of potatoes, so I cut those up. I know I'm gonna get comments with my potato peeling and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just did, um, they had a lot of the, the eyes and stuff thrown on because they were ready to be done, but I'm using them instead of gathering my fragments. And then I'm gonna head downstairs, look in the freezer for any veggies left. I don't really know what else we have 
down there. There's not a whole lot, mostly cookies, which is good. We can surround in cookies. And then um, I think that'll be a simple, easy dinner. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll get to go out and go shopping. We'll see how life unfolds. If not, we'll figure out something as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye.